Oh, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dylan, welcome back to the channel, hopefully each and every single one of you are feeling fine and fantastic today. We're going to go ahead and take a look at Atlantis, The Lost Empire, this is a requested tier 5 movie for this month. Now I do know about Atlantis, The Lost City, yes, and I do understand about Atlantis and everything that happened, there's a lot of people that have different stories a lot of people will believe in a lot of different things about Atlantis but from what we got taught in school is that Atlantis was sunk um, due to a lot of different reasons here yeah, but a lot of things that we got taught in school is that it was sunk because of the bad things that were done with inside Anyway, there's different stories. I'm not going to be controversial on it because I can't be honest. I, just, I can't be bothered being controversial about Atlantis at all, guys. There's, you can make up your own story. You can have your own theories. Whatever, guys. Do whatever you want, whatever you feel like. But I can't be bothered getting into that, guys. I honestly can't. So I'm here to enjoy the movie. Let's see if anything I've learned about, about Atlantis is inside of here. Let's go, guys. The Lost Empire. I'm looking forward to it. You guys have said that is it's a good movie, so let's jump straight into it. If you can go check it out in full, it's over on Patreon. Drop a big thumbs up. Hit that subscription button down below. And now let's get it, guys. Let's do it. All right. I suppose that's a different way of uh, explaining Atlantis. Now, we've all heard of a legend of Atlantis, a continent somewhere in the mid-Atlantic that was home to an advanced civilization. Now, some of you may ask, why Atlantis? It's just a myth, isn't it? 10,000 years before the Egyptians built the pyramids, Atlantis had electricity. Atlantis possessed a power source of some kind, more powerful than steam, than, than coal. More Gentlemen, I propose that we find Atlantis, find that power source. All right, let's just let's just stop it there for a second. That could be honestly the best idea or the worst idea in the world. Don't know what the end result is in this movie, but yeah. All right. Wow. Historians have believed the journal resides in Ireland. I found that that the, one of the letters had been mistranslated. I find that the Shepherd's Journal, the key to Atlantis, lies not in Ireland, but in Iceland. <sighs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, would you gentlemen please excuse me for a moment? Yeah, yeah, just just a sec. This Milo character is pretty cool. I like how they've done him. Pardon okay. me? I thought that was Mr. Hickenbottom. Oh. Plotted the route that will take myself and a crew to the southern coast of Iceland to retrieve the journal. Ah, so his father was the explorer. today has been moved up from 4.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. What? Due to your absence, the board has voted to reject your proposal. Have a nice weekend, Mr. Harcourt's office. They can't do this to me! Good Lord! There he is! Where was the board? Uh, wait, how did you find us, Mr. Harcourt? Wait! You gotta listen, sir! Bloody root freaks, isn't it? Uh, sir! Museum funds scientific expeditions based on facts, not legends and folklore. Wait, what? Isn't that the whole idea behind museums? Museums are literally based on legends and folklore. I really hope that this uh, this Milo character gets his points across. This is journal. It's in Iceland. I'm sure of it this time, sir. I really hope it would come to this. A letter of resignation. If you reject my proposal, I'll flush your career down the toilet just like your grandfather. You have a lot of potential. What career? You're literally making him freaking... Oh my gosh, you're literally making him work in a boiler room. You can prove Atlantis exists. You want to go on an expedition? Here, take a trolley to the Potomac and jump in. Milo James Thatch. Who are you? Hey. My name is Helga Sinclair. I'm acting on behalf of my employer, who has a most intriguing proposition for you. Yeah. Are you in? Who's your employer? Someone with a lot of money? Maybe a millionaire, billionaire? Whitmore. I've heard that name from somewhere. You will stand unless asked to be seated. Keep your sentences short and to the point. Are we clear? Ooh. He doesn't bite. Often. 
Preston Whitmore. Pleasure to meet you, Milo. Oh. Join me in a little yoga. Nice uh, no. Middle fattiest back in Georgetown. Class of 66. We stayed close friends. We never mentioned you. Oh, we wouldn't. You knew how much I liked my privacy. Oh. Come on my table. I can tell he likes to keep his privacy. It's for you. From, from my grandfather. He brought that package to me years ago. He said if anything would have happened to him, I should give it to you. Oh, this yoga fellow is really It's the Shepherd's Journal. Mr. Whitmore, this Atlantis. <laughs> Wasn't born yesterday, so. No, no, no. Look, look, at, look at this. No, it's useless. No, no, no. Just difficult. I spent my whole life studying dead languages. To Whitmore, my grandfather would have known if this were a fake. I would know. I will stake everything I own. So he's really intelligent. He's linguistic. Huh. All right. So he. Okay. So he knows a lot of languages. All right. All right. So what do you want to do with it? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll get funding. I will make them believe. Like you did today. Yes. Well, you know. Congratulations, Milo. This is exactly what I wanted to hear. We'll travel in style. Years, your granddad bent my ear with stories about that old book. I didn't buy it for a minute. It's my embarrassment when he found the darn thing. <laughs> Now I know your grandfather's gone, Milo. I'm going to the afterlife with a clear conscience, by thunder! Uh... <laughs> your grandpa was a great man. You probably don't realize how great. He died a broken man. This what's I happening could bring to him back right just now. one what's shred of proof. This what's happening to Milo. Oh, that's... You're proposing you're gonna need a crew. Taken care of. You'll need engineers and, and geologists. Got them all. Best of the best. Vincenzo Santorini, demolitions. Busted him out of a Turkish prison. Audrey Ramirez, don't let her age fool you. Iceland. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. All we need now is an expert in gibberish. This is for real. Now you're catching on. I'll have to quit my job. It's done. You resigned this afternoon. I did? Yep. Don't like to leave loose ends. Your granddad had a saying. Our lives are remembered by the gifts we leave our children. Atlantis is waiting. What do you say? I'm your man, Mr. Whitmore. Excuse me? I need to, uh, report in. Yes, Mr. Thatch. What not got the noodle? Cilantro. <laughs> what is this? That would be lettuce. Lettuce! <laughs> lettuce! A very unique animation, let's just say. It's a very unique animation. If you're looking for the pony rides, they're back there. Excuse me, excuse me? When else have you uh, got in there? Oh, eh, uh, garden powder, paper clips, big ones. You know, just the uh, office supplies. I love that. Pleasure to meet the grandson of old Thaddeus. Your granddad always believed you couldn't put a price on the pursuit of knowledge. Well, uh, believe me, th this would be small change compared to the value of what we're going to learn on this trip. Yes. There's something not right, and I just can't put my finger on it at the moment. There's something not right. And I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is in this animation. Honestly, don't know what it is. Mr. Whitmore. Work. It's time. Bye, Mr. Whitmore. Make us proud, boys. Take her down. Diving officers, submerge the ship. Aye. Make the depth 150 feet. Wow, look at that. Tonight's supper will be baked beans, musical program to follow. Oh, they picked the best PA announcer. PA announcer. Ah, uh, pardon me? Just a stop the jet! Men must never merge with fans! What's he doing in my something? bed? You ask too many questions. Who asked you? Who said you? Tell me your story, my little friend. Parchment fiber from the Nile Delta, so covered on a BC, like two years old, okay. and a litter of seven. These are all the microscopic fingerprints of the map maker. Hey, this is it? an outrage! You must leave at once! Out, 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 out! What uh -oh. the hell the dirt, is going on? Oh yeah, I've got soap, and I'm not afraid to use it. Back to our creature! Back to the pit from which you came! Sweet. What the Giant, sweet. hell? Medical law. Beautiful country up there. Are you doing any fishing? Oh, 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 Me? I hate fishing. I hate fish. With what? Well, Milo Thatch, please report to the bridge. Nice meeting you too! Hold on a second, Margie. I got another call. Sir, we're approaching coordinates. Welcome to the bridge, Mr. Thatch. I want you to give Mr. Thatch your undivided attention. Can everyone hear me okay? Uh, sailors were said to be driven mad by the mere sight of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that's 
Wrong. Is an illustration of the Leviathan, the creature guarding the entrance to Atlantis. It's a mythical sea serpent. He's described in the book of Job. Though we find this masterpiece, then what? Where we'll find the remnants of an ancient highway that will lead us to Atlantis. Kind of like the grease trap in your sink. You better come look at this, sir. Okay, glass this mist. That actually, you know, I mean, an air pocket that will lead to Atlantis. You know, that's actually not too far-fetched if you think about it, though. If you actually do think about it, because there are plenty of air pockets deep down in the ocean. And I've always wondered that, yeah? I've always wondered that, like, deep down in the ocean, like, caves and things like that that we can't get access to. Oh, just... Hmm. Okay. Look at that. This is actually quite... Look at quite that. Animated. Just by this, guys. Just by this alone. Like, you got to realize this is animation. And for it to make you feel like the depth of field is very far. It's it's very well done. The ship looks like it's walking. Whoa. Oh, uh, Jesus Christ. Quite literally. And I think it's that big thing he was talking about. Commander. I think you should hear this. Pradesh Tim. Commander. Low Tanug. Leviathan. The hell? Do you think maybe they could have got someone that actually likes their job to be an important announcer to tell you about emergencies? <laughs> Gateway. Commander. Yes, Mrs. Packard. That is terrifying. Oh my god, look at that what is thing. It, part of Wales? Bigger. Boom, it hits him. Oh, well, whatever it was, it's gone now. No, it ain't. Helps pattern and slow. Oh, see, there you go. See, you get for being ignorant. Oh, look at this thing. It's a beauty, isn't it? Absolutely. Oh, the torpedo bay. Suck blood from his battle station. Jim Christmas. It's a machine. So if it's a machine, it's quite literally made by the the wall of Atlantis, basically. Yeah? It's being made by the Atlanticians. I'm pretty sure Atlanticians is that what they were called? But obviously, they created this thing to protect them, man. Eh? How much time do we have? Twenty minutes if the bulkhead falls. Better make that fight. Let's move. Twenty minutes. Where? Better make that fight. That's a big difference. I don't think he's coming back. Packer, I can call you? you back. No, no, I'll call you. Oh, oh my gosh, Mrs. Packer. I see no reason to change that policy now. From here on in, everyone pulls double duty. So what about you, Are you going to help as well? You or just the man. Okay, people, saddle up. So Lieutenant, I want this convoy moving five minutes ago. Well, here you're on sorry. point. <laughs> Are you sure you're checked out on this class of vehicle? Uh, Can you drive a truck? Steering and your gas and your brake and, of course, this metal looking. <laughs> Okay, that's a little bit better. At least someone's helping you. Bro, the creatures down here are crazy. Guys, I was thinking about this, right? Probably about a year or two ago. Do you think that maybe, maybe Venice could be somewhat like Atlantis one day? Thousands of years to carve this thing. I made a bridge. It only took me like what? Ten seconds. Eleven taps. Yeah. 
Looks like we have a little roadblock. Jenny, what do you think? I have a miss. I only got about 10 plus, you know, five of my own. And it will be my pleasure. The characters are very, um, oh, that's, that's that tough mineral that they were talking about. It looks like the rotor shot. She lives. Hey, what'd you do? You Mac model P54 struck eight thirteen. Now we get the eight fourteen back at the museum. Boom. Persuade him, world. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Shut up. Too <laughs> for flinching. Ah! Put some meat on him, boy. Thanks, Cookie. That looks. Greasier than usual. You like it? Look like a rip. <laughs> you know, we've been pretty tough on the kid. Hey, Milo, why don't you come sit with us? Really? Hey. I found these pricks to be so rude to him, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, he may be clumsy, yeah, he may do silly things, but he's an intelligent person and you're treating him like he's, you know what I mean? Like, he's clueless. <laughs> Hey, Milo, don't you ever close that book? Yeah, you must have read it a dozen times by now. I know, but this... See, in this passage here, the shepherd seems to be leading up to something. He calls it the heart of Atlantis. It cuts off. It's almost like there's a missing page. Kid, relax. You're just in it for the money. 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 Money? Well, there's something wrong with your neck? Oh, yeah, I must have heard it when... Ah. Ah. Better? There you go. My hmm. father was an army medic. He settled down in the Kansas Territory after he met my mother. Next, I'm sewing up Rough Riders on San Juan Hill. My ain't cord. I couldn't eat another bite. bite. Thank God I lost my sense of taste years ago. <laughs> Even puts the fire out. Let me help with that, but that's what I mean. I like, me. he's plenty D heads. Instead of, like, helping him, they're making fun of him, yeah? Like, about time. Help him. He was like a father to me, really. My parents died when I was a little kid, and he took me in. Well, you'd think I'd found a lost civilization the way Grandpa carried on about it. Audrey, I, no, no offense, but how did a teenager become the chief mechanic of a multi-million dollar expedition? But the funny thing was, he always wanted sons, right? One but he got my sister and me instead. I'm saving up so my puppy and I can open another shop. I just like to blow things up. Come on, Benny. Tell the kid the truth. My family owned a flower shop. One day, I'm making about three dozen corsages for this pram. It's a nightmare. <laughs> anyway, leak next door of a gas or what? Boom! No more Chinese laundry to win. It <laughs> no was like Chinese a sign laundry. from a god. I oh, found boy. myself that boom. <sighs> What's Mole's story? Trust me on this one. You don't want to know. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> what the heck? Uh oh. Oh no. Your pants up and go. Hopefully, no one died then. Talk about fire flies, huh? Uh oh. Where's this gonna take them now? Alright, who's not dead? Sound <laughs> off. Uh, not as bad as it could have been. We totaled rigs two and seven, but the digger looks like it'll still run. We are standing at the base of a dormant volcano. You're right. Just keeps the magma has solidified in the bowels of the volcano, effectively blocking the exit. It would take an explosive force of great magnitude. Mr. Thatch, what do you think? Mr. Thatch? Thatch? Mm. Oh. Atlantean, there you go. Atlantean. Or maybe that's the language, Atlantean. What the hell? Hmm. Healing powers? Hey, wait a minute! Who are you? So 
crazy thing, like, could they not just be left alone? Could they not just be left alone in their own city? Like, there it is. Well. It's beautiful. Milo, I gotta hand it to you. You really came through. Holy cats. Who are these guys? They, they gotta be Atlanteans. What? That's impossible. I seen this back in the Dakota. Let's all do Benerta. Do wherein top. Let's all do panic. You said you're linguistic. What the actual heck? This man just said he was linguistic at the start of the film and he could talk the language. All these medieval languages. What? Huh? Brow it him done gonna mock in new giblet or bed caparekek. Eat a sumum each viator. This is linguum romai. Oui, monsieur. They speak my language. Pardon, mademoiselle. Voulez-vous? Buenos dias. How do they know all these languages? So they speak the multiple languages as well. Root it's just like the Tower of Babel. English hmm. is in the. We come in peace. Welcome to the city of Atlantis. Not me. Head back to the shaft. Salvage what you can. Yes, sir. The rendezvous. This is not going to end well because. They're here for money. Just remember that. They're here for one thing. Maybe not Milo. But the rest are here for... To steal. Just remember this. So this is going to end bad. This is going to end up in an all-out war. I'm telling you now. Commander... We're not supposed to be people down here. It changes everything. Remember, Atlantis was sunk for a reason. It was sunk for a reason. Just remember this. May I say it is an honor to be welcome to your city. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, Commander. I know what you seek, and you will not find it here. But we are peaceful explorers, men of science. <laughs> and yet you bring weapons. Some obstacles cannot be removed with a mere show of force. May I respectfully request that we stay one night, sir. Give no. us time to rest, no, resupply, be right. and be ready to travel by morning. One night. That is all. Not gonna end right, guys. Well, thank you, your majesty. Not gonna end right. Let's just say that now. Your heart has softened, Kida. A thousand years ago, you would have slain them on sight. We were once a great people. Now we live in ruins. The kings of our past would weep. If these outsiders can unlock the secrets of our past, perhaps we can save our future. Our way of life is preserved. When you take the throne, you will understand. She seems to like us okay, but the king, I don't know, I think he's hiding something. Someone needs to talk to that girl. I will go. Someone with good people skills. I will do it. Someone who... Thatch, thanks for volunteering. <laughs> Like I said, this is um, okay, Milo. Don't take no for an answer. This is well done. Look, this I have some questions for you, and I'm not leaving the city animation. until they're answered. Yeah, that's well, it. That's well good. Done. That's good. Some of the characters' voices. I have some questions for you, and you are not leaving this city until they are answered. Some of the characters' voiceovers are a bit weird. But oh, it's a solid one. Oh, there is so much to ask about your world. Well, okay. Uh, how did you get here? Well, I mean, not you personally, but your your culture. I mean, it is said that the gods became jealous of Atlantis. They sent a great cataclysm and banished us here. My father said it called my mother to it. I never saw her again. I'm sorry. Mm. If, it, if it's any consolation, we, we what are you telling me? Do you remember because you were there? No, that's that's impossible. Eighty-five, eighty-eight, hundred years old. Yes. For 8,000 years yes. old, yes. How is it you found your way to this place? If it weren't for this book, we never would have made it. You mean look. you can understand this? Yes, I, I'm a linguist. That's what I do. That's my job. You can read this. Yes, yes, I can read Atlantean, just like you. You can't, can you? Nope. No one can. Follow the narrow passage for another league. There you will find the fifth marker. Let me show you something. Some sort of vehicle. Yes. But no matter what I try, it will not respond. Place 
crystal into slots? Yes, yes, I have done that. While your hand was on the inscription pad? Yeah. No. It's an easy thing to miss, you know. Mm. You deserve credit for even even getting this far. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll give it a try. <laughs> Yeah, you got that right. Oh, see, this is great. How fast it goes. That's how fast it goes. Oh my gosh. So, who's hungry? My name's Milo. My name is Kira Gakash. Kira I'm just gonna call her uh, Kira. Wow. It's crazy to think that this place has its own weather, huh? has its own bloody weather. You know, my grandpa used to tell me stories about this place as far back as I can remember. That's a tell small version of that big thing. Your physician, he is called Cookie? Hear what I got. All 38 in the United States. Watch me make Rhode Island. 38. No. He is your pet? Close enough. Death Rod nutrients on. Yeah, right. <laughs> Such a... Get out of it, honestly. Just leave them alone in their city. Instead, we find a living, thriving society. True, our people live, but our culture is dying. With each passing year, a little more of us is worn away. I have brought you to this place to ask you for your help. What are you doing? You do swim, do you not? Oh, I swim pretty girl. It's good. <laughs> swim good. Pretty good. I swim pretty good. <laughs> good. It is a fair distance to where we are going. I have no idea where we're going. <gasps> she could at least hold his hand and help him. What are you Are you alright? Well. It's just like Plato described it. Like, well, he, he was glasses able to stay on the plane. The star in the middle of the city. What does the writing say about that? I don't know yet. It's the heart of Atlantis. That's what the shepherd was talking about. It wasn't a star. It was, it was some kind of crystal. Uh, mm. Like the, the power source I've been looking for. The bright light you remember. All of Atlantis alive. Then where is it now? I don't know. I don't know. You think something is important? The missing page. You have a nice swim. Hey guys, what's with all the guns? Guys, this is just another treasure hunt for you. You're after the crystal. Oh, you mean this? But it was strictly on a need-to-know basis, and well, now you know. Welcome to the club, son. I'm no mercenary. Oh. <laughs> I prefer the term adventure capitalist. Gonna make us all rich. You think it's some kind of a diamond. I thought it was some kind of a battery. But we're that crystal yeah. is the only thing keeping these people alive. You take that away and they'll die. Knowing that, I'd double the price. I was thinking triple. They, they don't your care, hands man. Dirty. They honestly don't, don't care. Think about it. There for the money. If you gave I gotta admit, I'm disappointed. You're an idealist, just like your grandfather. Do the smart thing. Negotiations go sour. Let's try this again. Knock, knock. Room service. Tell them to drop their weapons. I said it. I said it. I said it's going to end wrong. Like money is involved in situations like this. Something else. Where's the crystal chamber? You will destroy yourselves. Maybe I'm not. Quite literally clear. in the eyes. Quite literally in his eyes. Why do you think his eyes are the way they are? Because. That's where it is. Rock, this was not a part of the plan. Plans change, Doc. Well, as usual, Look at this. diplomacy has failed us. Nine. Part of Atlantis lies in the eyes of her king. This is it. You don't have the slightest idea what this power is capable of. Hurry, get off. Jackpot. But how are you supposed to get there? He understands what he's doing. I honestly don't think he understands what he's doing. Just destroy him, please. Someone destroy him. I don't like this place. All right, Thatch. What's next? Okay, there's a giant crystal. Anything surprising? Oh. Now move it. I don't 
know how to move it. I don't even know what's holding it up there. I think she does. Oh, wow. Like, visually, visually, this is quite stunning. Quite stunning. Visually, it's quite stunning, this movie. Going to go meet her mum. That's the thing that dragged her mum up. Remember? If you vaguely remember. Climax is going to be interesting. Okay. What was she turning to? Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Hold your horses, lover boy. Kida. You gotta be careful, she's probably turned into someone now that's going to kick your ass. Now she's the power source, is she? No, Kido, don't. Kido, don't touch her. Kido was the thing the whole time. Sergeant, keep those people back. You heard him. Step back. I guess this is how it ends, huh? Fine. You win. Congratulations, Audrey. Guess you and your dad will be able to open up that second garage after all. Money. Get off your soapbox, Thad. You've read Darwin. It's called natural selection. Dude. Look at it this way, son. Oh my gosh, I want to punch this guy in the face myself. This is why I say, man, like us as humans, we're so, we're so horrible when it comes to just stuff. Just leave things alone, honestly. Leave things alone. Yeah, stand up, you pricks. Let's move, people. That was an order, not a suggestion. Let's go. Shut up, Helga. Well done, guys. gonna die this is wrong and you know it we're this close to our biggest payday ever and you pick now of all times i grow a conscience more for me you're gonna get punished right the gods are gonna punish you you're gonna get your justice Now you could go. How's he doing? Not good, I'm afraid. Internal bleeding. And I brought it here. Ah, don't go beating yourself up. He's been after that crystal since Iceland. These, these crystals, they have some sort of healing energy. I've... Where is my daughter? Well, she, she... She has been chosen, like her mother before her. The crystal would choose See? a host. Told you. One of royal blood chosen as well. to protect the crystal tribes. On the collective emotions of all who came before us. Mm, okay. In return, longevity, protection, develop the consciousness of its own. <laughs> it overwhelmed us and led to our destruction. To keep history from repeating itself. And to prevent Kida from suffering the same fate. If she remains bonded to the crystal, she could be lost to it. The love of my daughter is all I have left. It falls to you. Me? Return the crystal. Save Atlantis. So, what's it gonna be? It's good Excuse to... Me? Okay, I know that these, these stories about these characters aren't really aren't really true yeah and the events that unfolded yeah but it's it's cool to think about in a place like this how you how these humans these gods think differently yeah compared to us i followed you in and i'll follow you out well i, I think we've seen how effective my decisions have been let's recap well, you did set the camp on fire and drop us down that big hole. Thank you. The only place left to go is up. Yep. 
Who told you that? A fellow by the name of Thaddeus Thatch. Where are you going? I'm going after Rourke. But it is the right thing. <sighs> Just say you better go with him because he's going to probably need it. I'm impressed. <laughs> How is this done? All you gotta do is use the crystals. Keita showed me. Battle up, partners. Bring jerky and ammo. All right, this is it. We're gonna rescue the princess. We're gonna save Atlantis. I love it when I win. Do you have any suggestions? Don't get shot! <laughs> okay, thank you. It's the most obvious, but yeah. This is well done. Come on, girl, time's up. Oh my god, look at his face. Oh my god. Unless someone wants to jump. No, he's talking about you. See, there you go. You said we were in this. Kick his ass. He is just a nasty prick, isn't he? I consider myself an even tempered man. It takes a lot to get under my skin. Uh -oh. Nothing personal. There you go. Ah, that's a darn shame. Stab him. You better cut him. Uh oh, what's he gonna turn into now? There's a thing, what if he just turns him into a super villain? Hard as rock. Is that him done though? No, that's the question. What's he saying that? Get the hell out of there. So what, you're telling me that she has to stand there the whole time to power the whole city again, or what? There you go. Talk about protectors of Atlantis. Look like bloody ja Japanese anime characters. Lava is going to show the top of me. Oh. That's went hard. Crack. It's a different story that we've been taught about. 
Atlantis, isn't it? I don't know. I like it. I like it. There's definitely going to be a number, number two of this, yeah, because we saw that when we were getting the um, artwork ready for the list, there was another one. I think we're good. <laughs> That's a lot of gold. They'll take you as far as the surface. I'm going to reopen the flower shop, and I'm going to thank you guys every single day. Maybe I'll go in for a couple hours and go, but August, I'm going to take August. <laughs> I ain't so good at speechifying. But I want you to have this. Ew. Okay. Ah, two for flinching. Wow, hey, well, goodbye, Mole. Are uh, you sure you want to stay? Yeah, there's an opening down here for an expert in gibberish. You take good care of yourself, Milo. Those two are definitely going to be in a relationship. You know. Sweet, uh, before you go, could, could you? No problem. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Can we go home now? Come on, y'all. Let's Can get one last shot in front of the fish. Yeah. Now, let's go over it again, just so we got it straight. Little fish, sponges. What happened to Helga and Rourke? Nervous breakdown. You could say he went all to pieces. <clears throat> he's missing, too. What about Milo? Went down with the sub. Oh. At least he's in a better place now. I hope this piece of proof is enough for you. Sure convinced me. Hmm. That's her dad. Her dad's stone. To help watch over the city, yes? Nice. Good little animation this was, huh? The Atlantis will return to the way it was, huh? It's extended itself, look. Atlantis and the Lost Empire. Yeah, cool animation. Yeah, as I was saying, guys, it was a, um, that was a cool animation. Uh, honestly, I would, I would give it a solid, solid seven. It was a cool animation. Some of the story about Atlantis is a bit weird because... Well, we've, we've all been taught, but it's another story about Atlantis and someone else's thoughts, and it's it was quite interesting, quite, quite interesting to see the Atlantis from a different perspective. It's It really is interesting. That's why I said a lot of these things that we get taught about these places that we truly don't have any information about other than people's word to mouth, yeah, or or hand writing on a book, yeah. A lot of people can interpret things the way they want. A lot of people can make up in their minds and imagine places being different, yeah, because we're all entitled to do that. We all can do that, yeah. Don't push it onto other people, of course, I know, but different things in life yeah but i mean for me the animation inside of this was sensational some of the voiceovers for the characters were a little bit weird a little bit odd the characters in general were really odd but i i really did enjoy the way that this was animated just the depth of field with inside of the animation it's just was beautiful to me especially when you got the sense of how big everything was the creatures the the gods the protectors the city of atlantis itself yeah i enjoyed that because you gotta realize it's very difficult to to get that across to the to the viewer especially when you're doing an animation it's very very hard to get that across to the viewer and they did it they absolutely did it. The sound effects were sensational. Not too much music, but like I said, overall it was a solid film. It definitely is something that you can throw on with the family and, and watch one night while just relaxing or wanting to watch something for family movie night. It's something you can watch all together, yeah? Because, I mean, some things you'll have to explain to your kids a little bit more in-depth detail. 
But like I said, it's it's overall was a solid animation, a solid solid animation, and the the character. Now the thing, right? Let me just go through something because I wanted to check. I wanted to check. I actually wanted to check. 2001. So, the character Milo himself. Now, this was created in 2000. Okay, that's a bit weird. 2001, this was created. Now, (laughs) the character Milo himself, I'm wondering... Because this was a uh, some things inside of this, right? Was a bit. I don't know. There were some things that was holding them back, and I just couldn't put my finger on it. Yeah, especially that character Milo. It was. Mm, it was like they were, they were too scared to overstep the boundaries. Yeah, when it comes to religion and telling the story proper because for me it's it, it was I don't know I don't know there was just there was just a lot of things a lot of things missing out of the story that we know about Atlantis yes but also some things that they didn't go into in-depth details with yeah and I don't know whether that's because they were trying to be politically correct or there was just because it was an animation yeah and they didn't want to, but some things they didn't answer, they just threw there, and some kids, especially young kids, will want an explanation, yes, and if the parents don't know themselves, maybe they tell them the wrong thing, yeah, and that's how the wrong information gets spread. so it's, it's, I'm wondering if there's another one that does tell a little bit more about Atlantis, yes, because Atlantis, even though it is about history and science, whatever, yes, whatever you want to say, yes, there's evidence out there that Atlantis did exist. Is it, is it, have a look in Africa. There's so much, so much, so, so much. So, I don't know. It's For me... Because Michael J. Fox was in this, I just feel like Michael J. Fox is a fantastic actor himself, yeah? Because he was in this, I feel like him playing the character of Milo made Milo fantastic, but also there was something odd towards the end about him. Something very, very odd, just... Yeah, I don't know. I couldn't put my finger on it. Couldn't put my finger on it quite, guys. But I just feel like they were they were holding a lot back. And which is understandable because I do believe that it was 6 plus rated. So it's it's all right. It's, there's a lot of things that are hard to explain to to young kids. I I get that. I get that. We had some laughs, but mo- most importantly, the visual effects were stunning. Absolutely stunning and that's that's what I'm that's what I'm giving them praise for the visual effects especially inside of an animation was stunning so like I said I take my hat off to them especially 2001 which is 21 years ago yeah well done guys well done like I said solid movie solid solid movie I'd give it I'd I'd give it a 7 I'd give it a 7 I'd give it a 7 let's go 7 I'd give it a 7 I was going to go six, but we'll give it a seven. We'll give it a seven, guys. Like I said, it was a solid movie, and I wish they went into more in-depth detail about Atlantis because it's like there was nothing really taught about Atlantis inside of the movie. Atlantis, really, if you think about it. And that it's, it's... yeah, it's it's sad because there's a lot of things they could have added to it, but like like I said, they were being I felt like they were being politically correct. They were just not stepping on people's toes, yeah. So I don't know. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. Like I said, very solid, solid animation. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it with me and I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye guys.
Peace.